So, diatomaceous earth, DE. If diatom, diatomaceous earth, all the words to that effect. Uh, what is it? How can you use it? And how can you get hold of it? So, very good questions, which we are going to be answering today. What is diatomaceous earth? And why do you need to know about it? As an organic gardener, why should you care what it is? So diatomaceous earth is a natural substance that is composed of fossilised remains of diatoms, which are like single-celled algae. They have hard outer shells made of silica. It is used for, which is what I use it for, pest control in the garden, which is really good. Um, insect management, if you like. I also use it for our pets, for our dogs, for flea control, mites and things like that. A number of different uses you can use diatomaceous earth. A very effective and natural resource that you need to be using for your garden, definitely. So as a gardener, you need to know about this stuff. So in the garden, they have another use, as I say, very effective method of pest control, completely non-toxic. The silica from the diatom shell, when combined with the microscopic size that they are, create a highly abrasive powder. This is really good. This is their secret weapon. This is how they work so well. So they create a highly abrasive powder. Um, this powder can be very effective against nuisance damaging Damage causing, I can't talk today, damage causing insects in your garden, including aphids, ants, and beetles. This can make for a safer way to protect your plants from pest damage without the risk of killing any beneficial insects visiting your garden. Now, this doesn't eliminate the risk, it just will reduce the risk, if you like. You won't eliminate it completely. My recommendation would be if you're using all your gardens of pest control, avoid flowers. Which earth makes for a very effective flea powder. Like I said just now, we're using our dogs at home. They can be used, just powder the dogs. <laughs> powder them freely it's completely non-toxic so it won't harm the dogs harm the cats whatever you use them on guinea pigs chickens anything like that it can also be used as a very effective ant powder as well so outside or inside in your home you can guarantee that it's not going to cause any problems if you've got children or aquatic life or anything like that in your house so you're it's really quite a safe product to to have and to use so this naturally occurring substance holds many benefits and can be used in a number of different ways. So how can you use diatomaceous earth in the garden? Diatomaceous earth can be used in, in its basic form by powdering the stems and leaves of your plants to prevent and remove pests. Basically, that is the core. I use it for in the garden anyway, but the core basic use of it in the garden, very effective at preventing and removing pests from your garden. So it can make up a liquid spray, which is very good if you've got like finer leafed plants, if you like, or big plants. You can make up a liquid spray, which works very well to distribute the powder across the plant. And when the liquid then dry, dries off, the powder coat will be left on the leaves. Makes It does make it very effective if you've got a big plant to cover. Or like I did it on my fennel. That worked really well because the fennel gets covered in aphids quite quickly, especially when the um, summer sort of kicks off as well. And the fennel gets covered in aphids. Um, they don't last very long, I will say. But I spray the diatomaceous earth over in a liquid form. And then as the water dries on the on the finer fennel leaves, the all that's left is the nice grey coating, which then the aphids don't like. So say abrasive coating, abrasive coating, abrasive powder left behind. They're very soft bodied. So this will wear away at the outer of the aphids slowly drying them out. Not so nice to think about it that way, but it's very effective. It's also very effective against mites and lice. So if you keep chickens, we used to keep chickens, haven't gotten them now, bless them, they got to a ripe old age and we lost them all, which is a shame. But they did live to about 10 years old, which is quite old for chickens. So anyway, they're very effective against mites and lice. So if you keep chickens, this is a very good way to keep any mite issues under control, lice issues under control. I used to just put it into their dust baths. So there'd be an area of ground that they'd use to dust bath in. Generally, they'd make it themselves or I had a tray as well with like kiln dried sand. I'd add the diatomaceous earth to this and then they can dust themselves. So they distribute it through their feathers quite freely. And then this is this is them dosing themselves up, so to speak. But I'd, I'd do a good um, coating of it in the dust bath itself and then they sort themselves out. So it's a very effective way. If you've got a red mite problem, very good way to keep it on top of it. So diatomaceous earth is very good because you can't overdose on it. It is non-toxic. Um, but what I would recommend, as I say about the beneficial insects in the garden, it doesn't discriminate. It will, any insect that walks through it will feel the abrasiveness, if you like, of the powder. So if you have it in the flowers or anywhere the pollinators kind of visit, this will affect them. So if you don't want them to, if you don't want to kill off or affect any pollinators or beneficial insects or anything like that, try and avoid flowers, try and avoid anywhere that they might visit. How and where can you buy diatomaceous earth? You can buy diatomaceous earth online, in pet shops, in healthcare stores, and agricultural small holding suppliers, quite a few different outlets or ways that you can buy diatomaceous earth. And there are lots of different sorts of diatomaceous earth you can buy. I have got one, I got one off Amazon. I went through reviews, very happy at the product, um, happy at the company. So I bought mine for Amazon. 
but you can there's there'll be some if you've got local pet shops or agricultural stores small holding stores that kind of thing you'll definitely find it in there i will leave the link the one i would recommend the whole food earth diatomaceous earth <laughs> this is a fresh water diatomaceous earth so that makes it more safe it makes it food grade as well so a darker salt water diatomaceous earth on the other hand is not safe to eat if you wanted to eat it or you're worried about your dogs or children or pets or chickens consuming it so if you go for the freshwater white diatomaceous earth that would be food grade so you will be safe the one that i get is about 10 pound a kilo um, it's free from fillers bulking agents you can purchase a diatomaceous earth at a range of different prices anything from 199 a kilo up to the 10 pound a kilo and beyond as well it all depends on the quality of the product whether you need it to be food grade how much you're going to be buying as well so it's good to know your options and it's good, also good to research the products as well so i researched the whole food earth one and i liked how they made and produced and the packaging the whole company ethos and everything behind it so the whole pick package made it for me whole food earth believes that good food shouldn't cost the earth as such sustainability does matter to them that's why they work hard to find sustainable solutions throughout their business they rolled out the whole new 100 percent recyclable packaging on whole food earth products which is apt really for the curbside recycling that we do here in the uk it's amazing again if you want to check any of this out please click the link in the description and that will tell you a bit more about it. It goes through to my Amazon. But if you click that, you can read all, up all about it, find out, see some reviews, all sorts, and then you can purchase your own bag. So I tried to measure there for a long time for the garden, for particularly for aphid control, because you do, at certain times, you do get in our garden quite a um, influx, if you like, or a boost in aphid populations. We get a lot of beneficial insects. Being an organic garden, we've got a good ecosystem going where we get a good flush of beneficial insects coming through, ladybirds, hoverflies, all sorts of different things coming in that can keep on top of them. But in the times when balance actually falls in the aphids' favour and they are starting to get out of control, they do need just the top nipping off the population level, just a little bit, just to keep them in check and diatomaceous surface is fantastic for that. I can spray the plant, I can just powder it on. I powder our tomatoes as well, which is very effective. Just dust it on with a little brush, and then this will protect the plant and any aphids that might go onto them, anything that might try and creep up the stems, anything like that, will come across the diatomaceous earth and then they'll, they'll suffer its wrath, <laughs> so to speak. It will, it will sort them out and keep them under control really effective way of um, managing pest damage in your garden and as I say once it's rained and um, it gets washed off you can reapply it there's no holding period there's no risk of overdosing your plants or the garden ruining the ecosystem within your garden and um, affecting the other plants around them it is natural 100% natural 100% um, non-toxic and again won't have any long-term residual effects on your garden it's a really good resource to have at hand especially when you're coming into the spring when you know the aphids are going to start picking up and the other insects and things that you might be getting problems with if you are like we are here and in the summertime you get a little bit more of an ant problem if the ground gets really dry the ants kind of pick up again very effective product to have on hand so if you have any questions about diatomaceous earth <laughs> If you'd like to know more, or if you would like to buy your own packet of the Whole Food Earth Diatomaceous Earth, <laughs> a lot of words there, um, yeah, Whole Food Earth products, click the link in the description, leave a message in the comments, and I'll answer any questions you've got. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today, and I hope that um, you will consider adding DE, Diatomaceous Earth, to your natural resources for your garden, and for your pets as well, because it is very effective against any fleas you might get so on that note i'll leave it there again if you've got any questions please feel free to comment below if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up do all the youtube things so like subscribe and share with your gardening friends i will see you next in the next video i'll catch you next time see you later